Kazakhstan International Vectors program informs you about international relations, political opinions, economic solutions and social development. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Mahatma Gandhi, Indian politician. Rare animals and plants are being traded just as well as arms and drugs are. Millions of living species could disappear before the mankind learns of their existence. Why is a management of animal habitat economically beneficial? The Earth is losing about 140 species of living creatures annually. Species are dying en masse. Scientists have even called the processes taking place in our time the sixth great extinction. Previous five extinctions have occurred in the last 500 million years. 440 million years ago, 60% of marine invertebrates have disappeared. 364 million years ago, the number of marine organisms has declined by half. 251 million years ago, during a so-called Permian extinction, 95% of all living beings have disappeared. 199 million years ago, the Triassic-Jurassic extinction happened. The most famous but not the most massive extinction occurred 65 5 million years ago, dinosaurs have extinct. The fifth extinction on the planet happened 34 million years ago. History proves that species are disappearing from the face of the Earth even without a human intervention. Although some of what we face today is largely the direct effect of human activities, poaching, habitat destruction, pollution and anthropogenic climate change. There are certainly some visible examples which are familiar to everybody. While it's a classic case with Stella's sea cow, a dodo bird which was eaten by dogs and cats on the island of Mauritius, a passenger pigeon which seemed impossible to be destroyed in the United States, but it was so long ago. Well, now people seem to fight for each and every type of species. They're trying to save them and the situation is then monitored. Nevertheless, species disappear. Illegal trade of animals and their parts as well as trade of plants is in the third place in the world right after the arms and drugs trafficking. Living beings and biological materials are being sold mainly by the poor countries which have nothing more to offer to the world market. Let's take the same African countries as a good example with ivory trade, meaning hunting elephants and rhinos for the production of horns. A rhino horn is what costs incredibly a lot of money by the standards of the local population. And in general, they continue killing rhinos despite the risk of death for poachers as well. In order to combat this phenomenon, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species or CITES exists. Its purpose is to destroy the market. Because of its disappearance, the poaching itself will disappear too. Kazakhstan has joined the convention in 2002. Along with rhino horns and elephant tusks, the CITES objects include the Saiga horns. In total, it is possible to distinguish five consequences of loss of biodiversity in the world. They are the economic loss, decreased food security, increased number of diseases in the world, unpredictable weather and for many people the loss of livelihood. The biggest problem is an economic issue. If ecosystems will become violated, many species of living organisms will disappear. As a result, some features that now the nature does itself, people will have to take on their own, including pollination, irrigation and waste disposal. This will require huge financial resources that will be counted in trillions. So the protection of animals and plants, in fact, is the protection of mankind. The conservation of biological diversity is the preservation of biodiversity in all, be it a microorganism, a plant or an animal life. Kazakhstan, when signing the Convention on Biological Diversity, confirmed that our country has taken a commitment to biodiversity conservation and enhancement.
Cloning is seriously considered by scientists of the world as a good way of reviving rare species of animals. In 2009, the Spanish geneticists have cloned a Pyrenean wild goat which has extinct in 2000 by putting its genes into the egg of a domestic goat. In total, they have created 439 embryos, of which 57 were implanted into surrogate uterus of living goats. Only in seven cases, the operation has given a result of pregnancy, and only one goat from this group gave birth to a female calf. The goat died in seven minutes after birth from the problems with the respiratory system, but in principle, the possibility of the resurrection of extinct species has been proven. There have also been the attempts to clone a Bante, a wild cattle from the Southeast Asia and marsupial Tasmanian wolf. How the World Trade Organization affects the well-being of animals and why it is necessary to think about this Saigon during the railway construction. Today about 1.7 million species of living creatures are described by the signs. In addition to that, according to various sources, from 15 to 80 million species that exist now on the planet are still not familiar to humanity. Today, the rate of extinction of species under the anthropogenic pressure exceeds the natural rate of extinction in 101,000 times. Even if these rates remain at current levels, in the next 50 to 100 years, the planet will lose from 25 to 50 percent of the current species diversity. Millions of species could disappear faster than the mankind knows of their existence. The conservation of biodiversity is included in the concept of the survival of humanity. The most important measures to protect species worldwide are construction of reserves and bioconservation. Between the boundaries of the established and protected by the state conservation areas, be it nature reserves, national parks or natural monuments, separate species and their living environment in general are being kept. In total, there are about 10,000 protected areas with a total area of 9.6 million kilometers or 7% of the total land area. The goal that is set in front of the world community by the World Conservation Union is to expand those protected areas up to 10% of the land area. Bioconservation is a system of measures aimed at the conservation of biodiversity by maintaining the genotypes of individuals outside of nature, in zoos, botanical gardens, etc. Today, humanity has canned for the descendants about 10% of biodiversity known to modern science. In 2006, the concept of transition to sustainable development was adopted in Kazakhstan. Back then, decisions were made upon the establishment of such. So in 2007, in the framework of the United Nations Development Program for the Conservation of Wetlands and the Government of Kazakhstan, our corporate fund Conservation of Biodiversity in Kazakhstan was created upon the initiative of the NGO Ecological Forum of Kazakhstan. Bioregional management of territory and waters is another method of preserving biodiversity in the world. At this level, the international cooperation is very important. In this connection, the UN has adopted many conventions on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora, the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals, the Convention on Wetlands Protection, the Convention for the Protection of Whales, etc. Along with the global conventions, there are numerous regional agreements regulating specific issues of biodiversity. Biodiversity not only protects unique species of animals and helps to control climate change, but also provides economic benefits to countries. A good economic example is the snow leopard in the Himalayas. Special tours to see the snow leopard. People pay a lot of money, come for a week to try to see the snow leopard in the wild. And there is a 50-50 guarantee. The person has paid money, he or she certainly will see traces. This is an absolute guarantee. We'll see a label of leopard, that there was a leopard. But to see the leopard itself, a lucky chance. 
dozens of animals, birds, reptiles, invertebrates, fish, as well as dozens of plants in Kazakhstan are endangered. Among them is the snow leopard, argali, the brown bear of Tanshan, flamingo, Siberian sturgeon, errol salmon, etc. Today, both the state and non-governmental organizations are actively contributing to the conservation of these species. Today in Kazakhstan, there are 25 specially protected areas. Of these, 10 are conservancy areas, 11 are the national parks, and 4 are nature reserves. In addition, in the country, there are 50 wildlife sanctuaries, areas with regulated regime of economic activity of a person. Public organizations are also trying to save the species. The Foundation for Biodiversity was created in 2007. At first, there was a task for the first 10 years to seek funds for the conservation of biodiversity, then to hand out the grants for various environmental projects. The tasks have changed. Today, the fund oversees and implements several programs at a time. Together with the UNDP project on the steps, we have created three water reservoirs, especially three water reservoirs created for Saiga, for that the animals may not leave, are able to come to drink, and it was just great. At one time, according to the staff of the reserve, even in wintertime there was up to 15,000 Saigas. In Kizilorda region, the fund, together with the Kazakh Institute of Rice, is growing rice, is testing new forms and approaches to agriculture. The main objective of the project, the alignment of land formation in order to maintain the water at planting. Still the focus of many non-governmental organizations is on the Saiga. Saiga is not in the Red Book, but hunting is completely forbidden from now to 2020. From a legislative point of view, it is the same as if it was listed in the Red Book, in the sense from the point of view of the legal consequences for the poacher. He goes under the same article of the criminal code as if violated the rules of the Red Book. Now this formality is not done. I mean the Saiga is not included in the Red Book, but the state annually allocates significant funds for the protection of these animals to monitor their population and so on. Another problem for Saiga is created by a railroad. They prefer the plain and cannot move across it. The railway Jeskazgan by now crosses the pass of Saiga migrations. Kazakhstan Association of Biodiversity and the invited experts have given recommendations on the construction of pathways for the Saiga. All of the recommendations were taken into account during construction. A lot of efforts and funds are being allocated for the preservation of another species, the symbol of Kazakhstan, the snow leopard. We have a block of projects now being here on the southeast of Kazakhstan, like mountain projects, not step ones. These are the works on snow leopard. They were supported by the Forestry Committee in 2014. Then NABU, the Conservation Union of Germany, supported a small project to support activities in two protected areas, in Ile Alatau National Park and Kulsai Kolda, with the emphasis on the monitoring of the snow leopard as well. However, protection is needed not only for the rare species of animals, but also for those that are now plentiful. Doctor of Law Maria Baideldinova has developed her own course, Zone Legislation or the Protection protection of rights of animals, international standards of treatment of animals. Now there are the standards of animal welfare in the WTO. Although they are not binding, but they do exist and indeed this is the case because the import and export of the same products of animal origin and for that reason here these universal standards are needed. Otherwise it can be an easy way to avoid them. For example, in the country, the standards are strict, we buy there and sell in another country and so on, where it is cheaper and the local authorities are not so scrupulously to these things. Therefore, the international standards are needed. The aim of the course is the analysis and systematization of all the laws governing human activities related to the animals, but not the promotion of vegetarianism or something like that. Students, along with Maria Baideldinova, are figuring out how to interpret legislation on animals. 